The Epistle of Ignatius to the Ephesians Chapter 15 Exhortation to Confess Christ by Silence as Well as Speech It is better for a man to be silent and be a Christian than to talk and not to be one. It is good to teach if he who speaks also acts. There is then one teacher who spoke, and it was done, while even those things which he did in silence are worthy of the Father. He who possesses the word of Jesus is truly able to hear, even in his very silence, that he may be perfect, and may both act as he speaks and be recognized by his silence. There is nothing which is hid from God, but our very secrets are near to Him. Let us therefore do all things as those who have Him dwelling in us, that we may be His temples, 1 Corinthians 6.19, and He may be in us as our God, which indeed He is, and will manifest Himself before our faces, wherefore we justly love him. Chapter 16 The Fate of False Teachers Do not err, my brethren, James 1.16. Those that corrupt families shall not inherit the kingdom of God, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. If then, those who do this as respects the flesh have suffered death. How much more shall this be the case with anyone who corrupts by wicked doctrine the faith of God, for which Jesus Christ was crucified? Such an one becoming defiled in this way shall go away into everlasting fire, and so shall every one that hearkens unto him. Chapter 17 Beware of False Doctrines For this end did the Lord allow the ointment to be poured upon his head, John 12, verse 7, that he might breathe immortality into his church. Be not anointed with the bad odor of the doctrine of the prince of this world. Let him not lead you away captive from the life which is set before you. And why are we not all prudent, since we have received the knowledge of God, which is Jesus Christ? Why do we foolishly perish, not recognizing the gift which the Lord has of a truth sent to us? Chapter 18 The Glory of the Cross let my spirit be counted as nothing for the sake of the cross, which is a stumbling block, 1 Corinthians 1.18, to those that do not believe, but to us salvation and life eternal. Where is the wise man? Where the disputer, 1 Corinthians 1.20? Where is the boasting of those who are styled prudent? For our God, Jesus Christ was, according to the appointment of God, conceived in the womb by Mary, of the seed of David, but by the Holy Ghost. He was born and baptized, that by his passion he might purify the water.